Hey guys, welcome to Crow's unboxing. Uh, this is basically the Kickstarter for the seventh continent. This is a full pledge plus adding all the add-ons to this game. So the value to this was actually pretty pricey. It cost me $395, so it was almost a $400 value. Um, I could have gotten this first and then paid an extra $18 for shipping, so I didn't do that. I actually told them to just send it all to me together. Uh, once it's all completed, so this is basically the wave two uh, Kickstarter for the seventh continent wave one and 1.5 was just basically the base set um, But this is basically everything and I'm just gonna unbox it all for you guys right here and show you everything you get With all the add-ons for almost $400. So I'm gonna begin by cutting off the base set again children And like in my last unboxing, please do not run with these knives or Actually be careful with knives period because you don't want to cut yourself. Now, one thing I'm going to begin saying off, I know the seven content is a Kickstarter. I don't know if it's ever going to be retail, but couldn't we get something for the back? Maybe like a little setup of the game? Like, come on, this is just blank. Saying one plus four, uh, one through four players, ages 14 and up. And then the, the Serious Pope, which looks like Hulu, is on the cover. Oh, well, uh, is there a logo? Um, I don't even see the designer's name, Serious Pulp. I know those are the people who made it, but I know it was two designers, but oh well. So here is the seventh continent. So here's your booklet of the rules. Oh, there's a well, seeing how this game is really long, it's like hours and hours long. I'm not even gonna say it's a thousand plus hours. I mean, it's hours and hours. It depends on how long you're gonna play. So it's obviously gonna be text heavy, but it looks really nice. And they have pictures and illustrations everywhere. So it should be easy to understand what to do with this game. Here's, uh, ooh, what's this? It broke already. Uh, here's some boards. Uh, I don't know what this is, but it looks like, oh, action consequences. Is it double-sided? Yes, it is. Action uh, resolutions, turn sequence, action icons. So these are, must be player boards. Okay. And here we have some tokens, which, ooh, should punch out very well. Yeah, they're pretty thick too, so they're not bad. These are very small, so but they look pretty cool. Um, okay, those are the tokens. So I am gonna say, uh, I forgot to mention this. If this is spoiler showing you guys what comes in here, I am sorry, but um. I wanted to show you basically what it looks like. So this is basically the board you have to make uh, for where you discard the cards. So it's like your own like um, your own uh, discarding pile, but it's like a like a dice tower. I'm not gonna build it, but it, it actually it is pretty nice. It's pretty good cardboard. It's not it's like it is gonna break like in, in seconds. So uh, this I'm gonna just throw it away. But yeah. This is basically it. It looks really nice. Uh, you got some memory forms here. You got, wow, these are really small dice. I mean, wow. Couldn't we get a little bigger dice? I mean, wow, my goodness. Oh, man. And you did not open that way. Knife, come over here. Please be careful doing this. Wow, these dice are really, really small. Wow. I mean, they're smaller than the Dead of Winter dice, and the, their dice were really small, but these are tiny. My goodness. Okay, well, we got some dice here. This is garbage. Um, I'm not going to open the cards, guys, because um, the cards normally are spoilers, so I'm just going to tell you, yeah, they're here. <laughs> we got some standees for the characters. Oh, man, the mini miniatures are this small? Wow, I didn't I didn't know the miniatures were this small. My goodness, I mean they made s seven mil from the Kickstarter, if I remember. Like, couldn't we get a little bigger minis? Like, wow, I I don't know how someone's gonna try to paint these. They're really tiny. Look at this guy. My goodness, he is tiny. Uh, I give anybody credit if they paint these guys because these guys are really, really small. Even these guys. The, what? Oh, the campfires. Wow, these. Yeah, these are the campfires and they're puny. Wow. 
I mean, my goodness. I never seen miniatures this small. Um, I I'm shocked about that. Uh, what's this? Uh, they're just tiles. And, yep, yeah, they're tiles. They're just tiles. So, uh, preparing and storage. So, they give you a tile for the, the storage solutions, but these are tiles. All of these. Yeah, oh, okay. So, basically, cards 300 will be uh, in front of this, and 350, 400, 450, 500. If you guys have been to a CD store, that's basically how, it, how this is going to be. Uh, banished cards. So, I don't think there's anything under this. Is there? Nope. Nothing under it. Oh, oh, what's this? Nope, that's nothing either. I think this is where you put the miniatures. I'm not too sure, but I guess that is all. I will open one pack of cards. Where's number one? Uh, wow, there, there is a lot of cards, guys. There is a lot. Uh, so, yeah, these must be number ones. Um, I will open one to kind of tell you what the quality of the cards is. Oh, boy, where is your little thing? So you guys can um, make a judgment of that. My goodness, this is why I open you from up here. Okay, that little thingy never didn't work. Oh, my goodness, knife time. There we go. Now it works. <laughs> Okay, so I'm assuming one is the first one. Oh no, it's 100. These are 100s. Okay, well, card quality is actually pretty good. It's, yeah, yeah, it's not bad. It's a little thinnish, but it's actually pretty good. I, I really can't complain. All right, so that's the first core box. Um, I'll open the second one, but I wanted to show you guys this next. This is all the card sleeves you get plus two extra packs. So I'm going to open one because that's the reason I opened that, um, that pack of cards. So this is basically like, I believe, does it say right here? 1,400 plus two more uh, 200. So you get 1,600 sleeves. So I'm going to just put you guys in there. I don't care. I'm not sure if, I'm, I'm assuming they, they do sell these sleeves for anybody who wants to purchase it outside. Um, yeah, well, that's going to be garbage then. For anybody who wants to purchase it, but um, I'm not sure where you guys are going to be able to get it. Uh, again, I'm not sure if the, the seventh content is going to be a retail game um, or when is it going to be a retail game. But, oh, wow. These sleeves fit perfectly so if you guys do like to sleeve your cards these sleeves are nice and they have a good little thickness to it so yeah these these are like ultra pro uh sleeves so wow it, it actually fits very nice so you know what i'm just gonna leave that there <laughs> so it fits really really nice so if you guys did get the um these sleeves are very good for this game so that's basically everything you get from the sleeve box. I'm gonna put this to the side because I have a lot of stuff around here and I need to make room. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, this is garbage. Oops, stand these in there. BGG promos. Basically, you got this. You can get this at the BGG store if you want to, but these are basically the promo cards you get. You get 054, 097, 350, 586, and 66. Now, I would uh, show you guys these, but they probably would have spoilers, and I don't want to spoil it for you guys, but you get five cards with this. This was like a, a $5 pack, um, so it's not that expensive. And you, again, you can get this at the BGG store, but I chose to get everything for this Kickstarter with um, purchase of this. Um, I got this. Uh, let me open this one up. Uh, this one didn't even, they didn't even close this. Uh, I don't think they could have. Uh, this is, I forgot what this is, but it's a notebook. Um, I'm assuming you put your information here, your cards and stuff, but I don't remember what this was. I think it was a, um, a guide or something. I don't recall, but it is also an add-on. Um, let me open up the seventh continent box, the next one. This is, oof, you did not open for me. This is the second expansion from what I remember from the Dice Tower. Tom reviewed it a couple of, I think it was a week ago. 
and he said he really really liked it and gave it a perfect 10 so um that's what's in there you got this dear backer explorer uh so yeah it probably is like a thank you um you got new car types continents new game modes so this is basically the new stuff in it it's not that long it's just basically four pages uh here's your hot air balloon that you biggest build because that's what this expansion is uh you're going to be in an air hot balloon okay they punch very very easy so can't complain there and let's put you together come on you can fit there we go and bam there's your hot air balloon well without the standy but there it is but these punch out very very easily i'm just shocked that the miniatures are that small um this is now for the action deck zone so you get another punch board for it uh let's take all of this out but i like how you got you they you basically make this uh garbage you make this um like a dice tower you could say of this i'm probably putting that wrong yeah oh yeah because it's gonna go in here like this so yeah okay you guys kind of get the drift this is the the schedule book uh, for your journey, so you get to put your, your equipment and stuff. I don't know if this is like for four play. Uh, if all four players are going to use this, but it's a pretty good book. Uh, the Scatchel book, I forgot. Um, you get this. It's not bad material too. Feels leather, but I, I don't think this is leather. I don't. Well, I don't know much about leather. More standees. Uh, more. More. St stuff here this is also for the hot air balloon information so more cardboard i don't think there's anything under there nope nothing in there oh come on all right let's put you in there here are this is the part for the hot air balloon so you get this oh, we got some tape in here let's see come on let me figure this hole out bam cut it open and here it is here it is these are the miniatures for the hot air balloon okay and here's the minis for this one uh again please be careful when you guys use those knives all right so here are the new miniatures you gotta go these will look so good if we could paint them, but they're so tiny. I mean, I think I you should just get a pro if you're going to paint them. Uh, here's this. What is this? Oh, I think this is a big standee for the for the header balloon. Yep. Ah, it popped up. Yep. So, yeah, it's going to be... I'll keep it for now. And I get... Like the other one, you get another one of these. And you get a bunch of cards. So I'm assuming the card quality is going to still be the same. Oh, the new curses. Oh. All right. This one opened much easier. All right. So yeah, it's still the same quality. I know there was a problem with uh, the um, how the cards look like. But um, uh, I guess I'll show you guys that in a bit. So this was the expansion box. And basically the next one is... The replacement cards I'm going to show you. So these are basically the replacement cards they give you for the same content. Apparently there was uh, problems with um, the design. I thought they were going to just basically give me like a whole new stack of, of cards. But I mean, they were just going to come in the base set. But I guess they just decided to change it. So now I can't find the right numbers here, uh, but I don't know. They kind of still look the same. I can see there's a big difference here, but well, I'll figure it out. So I, I'm happy they sent me a replacement card, but I thought it was going to just come in the base set. Um, I know this was going to be for anybody who got the first printing and it just came out wrong i took off the plastic shrink for this one because i was wondering where the hell the expansions were and this is basically where the expansions are so these are all the expansions you're gonna get with the seventh continent 
So this is for PATH. Um, I don't know anything about the expansions. Um, I don't know what you get in here. You get more cards. If you get more cards, then yep, you get more cards. So with uh, Path of Repentance, that's what you get for this one. More cards. Uh, for Comfort Creatures. Come on. There we go. So you get more cards here too. Oh, this one actually had it better than this one. All right, they, they learned. You have more cards, more continent cards. Uh, you get this little one, this little little paper here telling you about this, what's going on with this little expansion. So that's um, Comfort Creatures. So that's these two expansions. Uh, this is the Flying Root, am I remember? Yep, the Flying Root. Come on. Oh, so let's open this baby up and see what's in here. I'm sorry, guys, this video is going to be a little long, but I'm showing you everything you get for full pledge. Uh, so here's the flying route. You get a little summary of it, more cards, and some new minis. So I'm assuming these are the, the routes that fly. So I will sh put those down side. And let me cut this open so I can show you guys the mini. These are actually bigger than the other mini, so I'm assuming these are a much bigger item. So these must be the flying root. So it's probably like a giant big uh, tree. I'm not too sure, but that's what I'm assuming. And let's put this guy right back in here. And you go in there too. All right, so that's the flying root. You know what? Just go in there. People want to see me unbox. And this is now the icy maze. Okay, let's see what we get in this one. Show me your secrets. Show me what you got. I'm excited. I don't know much about this game. I haven't played it. Oh, you just get cards. So, a little summary and more cards. Okay, so that's the icy maze. And here's the Swamp of Madness. Oh, we're going into Cthulhu. All right, come on. Show me that madness. I want to go into the mouth of man. Oh, I still have shrink wrap. Wow. I want to go into madness. More cards. So yeah, you guys get more cards in this. Hey, cool, more cards. Can't complain. So madness is just cards. I thought we were gonna get a little mini saying, hey, Mentions of Madness that has joined the seventh continent, which you guys know. All right, let's open this one. Show me your secrets. And this one is the Forbidden Sanctuary. And you get more cards. <laughs> so it's all about more cards. I, I guess you can't complain because these are bas basically more for adventure. So here's the Forbidden Sanctuary. Knife over here because I need you. And here is... I forgot. I should have said the name first. And here is Facing the Elements. So this one's actually a bigger box than the rest. Oh no, don't oh, break the box. Uh, I broke the box. It's probably going to be garbage eventually. Who knows? All right, so we got some standees. Okay. Oh, so you got some... So you got some cards and you got some standees. All right, so uh, I'm assuming these standees are gonna go, uh, um, these are gonna basically, I guess I could show you guys. Again, I don't know much, so I can't really say, oh, this is how this is. So I'm assuming this goes here and then you get this after you punch it fully out and then you just leave it on the table. So you basically got this. Oh, this is pretty thick too. It's basically gonna go like this. On. And you got a basically an element that is striking you. Uh, so yeah, that's cool. Can't complain there either. Uh, all right, just go in there. All right, and now we got fear the devourers. Looks like you have a a, a worm in here. All right, we got cut it open. 
Right, come on, open up and show me your devour. All right, we got a mini too. Yeah, can't go wrong with minis. More cards, a little summary of what's going on. Let's show you guys these minis. All right, they all came out. It's pretty big miniature. He looks all mean and ugly. Look at all those teeth right there. Yeah, baby. Pretty cool. Can't complain there. What's this? What's this? Oh, another devourer. Look at that. Why does this look so familiar? It looks like a worm. Like a worm and uh, that face. That face reminds me of something. Can't remember. Oh, here's a mini one too. So I guess you fight babies and... But these minis are so small. Like if the people are small, these are just a tiny bit bigger than the people from the looks of it. No, I think it's around the same size. All right, so that was Fear the Devourers. All right, so this is the Bone Dice and Baggy. Uh, this was, uh, I believe this was a five or seven dollar add-on. No, I think it was 15. I have no idea. People said that this was worth less, but I wanted the Baggy. But all right, is the bag? Uh, the bag is pretty small, and mm, get the job done. But it's pretty small. It's like the size of my hand, and obviously the dice are going to be small. But yeah, ooh, these are. Oh, I thought they had like holes going through them, but these are nice. Look at these. I really like these. I don't know what these are for. Again, people said that they're useless. They're not worth getting, but they're bone dice so uh am i forgetting something yes i am so the last item on this article is this again i am so sorry this video is long guys but i'm showing you everything and this is pretty much the last item i don't even know what's in here i don't even know what i got it's like i threw my money and i said yo seven continent just take all my money well shut up and take all my money and they're like sure we'll send you all that stuff all right. Oh, this is the play mat. All right. So this is the play mat. Nice. So this is basically how you put. Man, I have to break this. Oh, no. Oh, there it is. There it is. Take this play mat out. I broke that bag. Go, go to the garbage. All right. So this play mat's half of my 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 what i mean my hudson game topper right here so uh yeah not a bad mat feels good um doesn't seem like it was stitched uh yep yeah, doesn't seem like it's stitched but it's not a bad mat i believe this was like 21 kind of remember certain things certain things i don't but it's not a bad mat so yeah guys this is everything oh, i was gonna sh this one this was everything for the seventh continent um so i'm assuming you just need the main rule book and this is just an extra little rule book for for the other stuff but yeah that's pretty much everything for the seventh continent hope you guys enjoyed this video uh if you guys want to comment and, um and subscribe just do that so uh hopefully i'll bring you another unboxing uh this was my very first kickstarter i did say that that my omen was my first but it was the first to arrive this was actually my very first that i purchased it was second to arrive, but I'm really happy. I can't wait to give this a go and see what it's like. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, let's see what's going to be my next Kickstarter. Maybe it's going to be TMT or maybe Batman. Who knows who comes first? But until next time, I'll see you guys.